This is Sonic, and you're watching Sonic's channel. Hey fans, Michael Hunter here, and welcome to part 11 of Sonic Lost World! Alright, let's do this! We are on Sky Road Zone 1. Let's see what we got here. We got a giant caterpillar there. Mm, what is that all about? Let's go ahead and check that out. I already know what it's all about because I've beaten this game already, but this may be your first time looking at it, so let's go ahead and check this stage out. Ah, we got... Actually, this stage looks a lot like Windy Hill Zone. Huh. Why, why are we getting a clone here? It's, it's, it's just Windy Hill Zone. What? No! I want a new level! Oh well, Windy Hill Zone is cool anyway, and this looks a lot like it. So, yeah, I have no problem with it. It's, uh, it's different enough, I guess. Oh, whoa, whoa! Didn't see that coming. But I actually went back because I want to get this Eagle Wisp here. Go ahead and kick that guy out of the way. Here we go. That's what I wanted. Yes! This route has all the rings and everything, so yeah. So, I guess this shows how it's not all that useless to, ha to have the wisp and everything, because I got a bunch of rings by doing that. But wait a minute, what do the rings do in this game? They don't give you an extra life, so what's the point of them? Other than uh, keeping you alive, of course. But like, gathering a lot of rings, what's the point of collecting as many as you can? Huh. I'm gonna have to look into that. Surely they aren't useless or pointless. They gotta have some kind of reason that you wanna collect all the rings, but I have not found out what that reason is yet. So, I don't know, maybe as I keep playing it or, or whatever, I don't know, maybe I'll find something out. All right, we got two red rings right here. Great, two red medals, whatever you wanna call them. Red rings, red medals. When I say red rings, it just makes me think of the Xbox getting the red ring of death. And yeah, we don't want to think about that. We want to think about the Wii U having life. Okay, these guys, or these these females, these female caterpillars, because you can see the eyelashes there. So they are clearly female. They're also pink, so that's another sign. So let's go ahead and take them out right here. They take multiple hits. Let's see if our homing attack will help us take them out quicker. There we go. Got to avoid that shockwave thing, too, that they create as soon as they hit the ground, because... Yeah, they're very forceful when they land. So, yeah, they're really powerful. Okay, one more hit probably. Take her out. There we go. Any more left? Yep, there's one over there. I, I see you, I see you. Can't hide from me. Okay, let's wait for her to come back. There we go. Probably, this is probably the last hit right here. Yep. Spring, please. Thank you very much. Okay. On to the next section of the level. Boing. Yep. Flying over there like like it's Mario Galaxy. Like shooting from star to star. Pretty cool. Bounce. Ooh. There's a lot of bees lined up there. Let's get that combo. Yes. Very satisfying. Uh, let's get some... I was kind of late on that one. I was actually trying to see if there was something down here on the underside of it, because I know on the nether section of the level, if you go under, on the opposite side, there's actually a red ring, so I'm probably going to keep trying to go under to see what goodies might be hidden there. Oh, there's a red ring right there. Cool. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Uh, yeah. Let's try that again. That was kind of embarrassing. Okay, let's just go ahead and do our part. What? No! Ah, oh well. At least you see how to get it, at least. So yeah, you just gotta do your parkour abilities to get that red ring down there. I'm going to, going to at least try to show you how to get every single one of those red rings, so yeah, that'll be good. So you, so you know what to do, because red ring collecting definitely gives you a really good reward. I'm pretty sure I don't even have to say what it is. I probably already know what it is, but at the same time, I try to—I want to try to avoid spoilers. But I don't know. It probably doesn't even matter. Everybody knows what it is. 
I don't know. I, I just won't say it. Eh, whatever. Whoa, whoa. No, no what, are you serious? You saw that, right? You saw it. That shouldn't have happened. Okay, let's just go ahead and go forward. Let's ignore that red ring this time. Because, yeah, I don't want to be dying again. Definitely don't want that to happen. Oh, gotta avoid tilt. Avoid those giant caterpillars there. Very dangerous. Okay, so we are done with that wisp ability. Ah, talking too fast. Gotta slow down. We are done with that wisp ability. So let's go ahead and move forward. Is that better? Talking slower helps me to form my words clearer. Clearer. That doesn't even make sense. That's, I guess that's not helping. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk slow. Sorry about that. Okay, let's get this bell here. So we can get another red ring. Like I said, I'm trying to show you where all of them are on this stage, because... Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close. Once you know where all of them are, they're pretty simple to get to. Like, or at least they're easy to remember, so... Okay, there we go. Ooh, free some animal friends here. Run free, my little critter friends! My flicky buddies and all those peeps out there okay bouncing all over the place on this little tube thing or giant Kirby tube now gotta avoid these spiky balls and those are not nice this is the part I believe where I have to get on the underside wait a minute no maybe not okay must be the next part where the red ring is there so yeah that's great Giant turtle back there. Uh oh. Oh! Yeah, don't want that to happen. So, basically, what you do is just hit the, uh, those little missiles they shooting out, and it'll pop up, pop back up, and hit him. I have no idea how Sonic is pulling that off, but yeah, that's how it works. Sonic is cool like that. He can do anything, he can do whatever the heck he wants. Okay, here we go. Here's the last hit. I believe that was the third one, right? Yep. And I... Wow, the spring appeared right on me. Okay, let's go on the underside here. Should be that red ring. Coming to get you, red ring. All right. Oh, gotta watch out for those guys. Oh, what? what? Okay, careful. Care whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good! Yes! Okay, didn't even need those springs there. Alright! Let's go ahead and bounce to the next area. Oh, and this also happens to be the end of this the uh, stage there. Alright, so Sky Zone 1 is now clear! Alright! Yes! Let's go ahead and move on to the next level. See what we got next. Probably a cutscene here. Let's see. Yep. If we don't find your friend, can I be your sidekick? What? Shut up! What kind of question is that? I didn't mean anything by it. I just thought it might be better to work for you than Eggman. Hello, I'm sitting right here, you know. Orbot, no matter what happens, I won't fail again. I will save Tails. It's stuff like that that makes me want to be your sidekick. Tails is lucky. But seriously, I'm right here. I can still hear you. Is it just me, or does Eggman sound a little different right there? I don't know. It kind of seems like he changed up the way he talked. Huh. Who knows? But anyway, we got... Okay, Zone 2 here that we're going straight to. Let's dive into this. Another cutscene. Hello, Sonic. Yeah, I've been looking for you. And we've been looking for you. Unfortunately, we found your friend Tails first. Hey, you heard one hair on his head! Oh, don't worry. We're actually making him better. He'll be much happier as a robot. <laughs> no! Oh, snap. You're trying to turn Tails into a robot. That's not cool, man. Would you want your best friend turned into a robot? I think not. So, I'm with Sonic here. Yeah, we gotta do something about this. Got to avoid these. We're actually we're riding on the snakes. 
and then some of them will shoot fireballs and stuff at me, so gotta be really careful here. Plus all these are really small platforms, so yeah, be careful. Let's go ahead and just speed rail. Oh, wait, no, e. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should slow down a bit, take it back a notch, and be more careful this time. I wanna get game over, that would be embarrassing. Game over on a playthrough, what the heck? All right, so far so good. Huh, looking at the background, you can see those trees back there. That's pretty cool. In the distance, inside those clouds. I like the music here, though. Sounds all oriental and stuff. Okay, uh, yeah, gotta slow down here. There we go. Had to wait for that snake dragon thingy, whatever it is, to show up. Then you gotta ride on that. Okay, let's go up here as fast as we can, because those snakes keep on coming. Or dragons, what, whatever those are. I'm guessing they're dragons, because this is like a, an oriental type place. There we go. Ooh, yes, I love doing stuff like that. All right, checkpoint. So we're good now. If we die, then uh, it won't be as devastating. All right. Careful here. Grab this red ring. Good, goody, 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 goody. We're doing so far so good. Oh, that was bad though. That was bad. But we got an extra life, so hey. Oh, snap. Careful, careful. Steady. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Oh. But we only need one more red ring, so that's good. So pretty much you'll see where every single red ring is. And the other one, I believe, is really easy to get. So just keep an eye out. We're about... Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. See? That was easy. We got all five red rings. That's great. Yes. Okay, let's shoot over to the next area here. Oh, which happens to be the boss. This is a short level. Huh. All right, so what we got to do right here is home attack on his tail there. There we go. And then climb aboard. And then do the homing attack on these glowy spots here. And then one of them you kind of have to delay because it doesn't... Because he ends up shooting a laser out and it won't let you do the homing attack on it. So, yeah. Basically just time it right. And then go for the hit. Pretty simple. All the deadly six bosses are... Yeah, really simple, actually. Even Zavik, except his last, um, the second encounter with him is a bit more different. Like, there's more, there's a bit more strategy to it, which is good. So, we'll see that in a little bit. But actually, I'm about to break the game just a tiny bit here and do what I'm not supposed to do. If you use the bounce bracelet and bounce like three times, you can actually take a little shortcut and get to him faster without doing all those homing attacks. So there we go. You're done with the boss already. Thanks to that bounce bracelet there. And all right, we are done with Sky Road Zone 2. Wow. Yeah. I'm happy. We're done with that level, which means we are also done with this segment if there's no cutscene here. Ah, uh, there's a cutscene. We are not done. into a robot. That's horrible. Oh, I don't know. Being a robot's not so bad. From where I'm sitting, it is a nightmare. Who thought that putting this bucket brain's head on me was a good idea? Wait a minute. I also forgot there's probably a circus that we can, we can uh, go to. Let's see. Yep. Fine. Okay, so let's go to the circus. And then let's end the segment. Come on. <sighs> Gotta end this thing, man. Gotta get through this playthrough. Ready for it to... Ready to get to the end. I want to show you guys what the end looks like. What's the going to do that? Keep forgetting I have to use the stylus to actually start it. I can't just push the start button or whatever. Okay. Just push the seesaw back and forth. Free! My animal friend's here! Uh, so, feels so good to save my friends. Wait a minute. So, wait, wait a minute. So, why is Eggman trapping the Flickies inside balloons? What is the purpose of that? I can understand them controlling his robot army or whatever, but... What? 
Each trapping them in balloons? For what? For what reason? For what purpose? What's the point of this? Eggman, you are so dumb sometimes. Hey. What the heck? Oh well, let's just go ahead and keep freeing them. And we are almost out of time, so that's not good. So that means all these flickies are going to suffocate from being caught up and tied up inside these balloons. We saved 405, but what about those other flickies? They're all trapped in the balloons! That's not cool. Huh. Man, that's that's a shame. Such a shame. Poor, poor flickies, man. Oh, well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching that segment. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click like and subscribe and leave a comment. And if you want to see more uh, playthroughs and Sonic updates and all that good stuff, do like I said before, click subscribe. That would be good. And yeah, you'll be updating all my, all my videos, of course. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is Michael Hunter, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!